Right. Now, this is also another question that it looks like a minimum and a maximum question. It looks like a typical optimization question, right? But it's sort of not. Uh, they're talking about rate again. Okay, so this whole rate thing is coming up quite a bit tonight. So it's very interesting. So let's quickly read this question. It says that a water tank in the shape of a cylindrical cone has a height of H. The top rim of, okay, they're giving us all the information. Then here, this is quite important. Let me highlight this. It says that the ratio of the height to the radius is five to two. So what you can do mathematically is you can say that H over R is the same as five over two. That's what that means. The ratio of the height to the radius is five to two. Water is being pumped into the tank at a constant rate. Determine the rate. Ah, there we go. What does that mean again? Gradient or first derivative. Determine the rate or the, the so which is the gradient or the first derivative of the water flowing of the volume of the water flowing into the tank when the depth is five. So they're giving us the height. Okay. If this was an optimization question, they would have said, determine the value of the height such that the volume is a maximum or the volume is a minimum. Okay. Um, but now they're saying, um, determine the rate. They just want to know what is the rate or the gradient when the height is five. Okay. So guys, they want to know what is the gradient or the rate of the volume. So we need to go get the volume. So they give you the formulas. I, I didn't add these, by the way. They gave them in this exam. So that's quite nice. They typically will give them for more complex types of shapes. We hope they do. And so that's going to be a third pi r squared times height. Okay. Now... Um, I'm going to, I want to take the first derivative. Why? Because I want the rate. And I know that the rate is the gradient. But I cannot take the gradient, I cannot take the first derivative just yet, because there is um, an R and there's an H. Now that's a bit of a problem for us. Because you cannot take the derivative when there is more than one variable. You, need, you can only have one variable. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the R um, because they, they give me the height. So I'm going to get rid of R so long by getting R alone in this equation over here. And so that's going to be 5R equals to 2H. And so R is going to be 2 over 5 times H. And so R is 0, 0,4H. Okay, I can then go full that into this equation. There we go. Oh, there's a square over there. And now I'm just going to simplify a little bit. So that'll become a third pi. 0 0.16 h squared times h. Um, I'm then just going to multiply the 1 over 3 and the 0 0.16 with each other. And that gives us 4 over 75. Uh, 4 over 75 pi h cubed. Okay. Now I can take the first derivative because that is the rate. So I'm going to take the first derivative now like that. Well, technically, I should say dv, dv over dh. Don't worry too much about that. If you always just write it as V with a line, it's okay. They won't really do anything about it. Um, and that's going to give us, uh, so we're going to take this three and we're going to multiply to the front. So that's going to become 12 over 75. It doesn't multiply to the bottom and the top, just the top number. Pi H to the power of two. Okay, guys. Now, if they said determine the value of H, so that the volume is a maximum, then you would make this value zero. That is what we normally do if it was an optimization question. But this is not what they are asking. All that they are saying is 
determine what the rate will be when the height is five. So all I'm going to go do now is plug in the height is five, and I'm going to see what my first derivative will equal. Okay, I need a bit more space. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go plug in five. There we go. And I'm going to go work that out. And that gives us 12 comma 75. Is that the answer that we got earlier? Yes, 12 comma 75. Uh, let's switch off the video quickly. Um, 12.75. Now the units are very interesting. Sorry, that does not say 75. Kevin, that says 57. Um, sorry, guys, 12 comma 57. Now the units are very interesting. We're looking at volume. Okay, so that's centimeter cubed because they did talk about centimeters per, and now the height is also going to be measured in centimeters like that. Now, what's interesting, um, and we could talk for hours about this, is that these two are not going to cancel out. Okay, what you're trying to say is that the volume is going to be changing by 12.57 centimeters cubed per centimeter of height. If that part confuses you, it doesn't matter, guys. Um, it's not going to affect your answer, and they'll probably not even take away a mark for that. They're not too worried about that. They are interested in seeing that you could get to the final answer.